So I've owned a Macintosh since age four in the early 1990s. And one of the problems that's bugged me since day one, <laughs> I almost sound like I've been playing around in terminal since OS 7 when I was four years old. And that's funny because I was. No, but one of the problems with uh, Macintosh OS 10, despite how much it's evolutionized and how many powerful new features come out every year or with every OS release, um, they still don't fix this issue. And it's one that has bothered me ever since I can remember. Now, there are applications out on the market that will allow you to, uh, with you know, with the addition of several other features, allow you to fix this. Uh, Total Finder is one such application. I actually did a review on it several months ago. It's excellent. I highly recommend it. But let's say we're in Finder and we're in our pictures folder and we're in our Capture One library and we're in the selects folder. And well, okay, so I'm in the selects folder, but where is the selects folder located? There is no path that's displayed in the Finder. And so that time, uh, because of that, when you have several Finder windows open or even just one, you get really lost and confused. So with this terminal tip, uh, you are able thank goodness to Terminal, to uh, f fix this issue and really uh, see the whole path of the files you're browsing so you can navigate around your Finder and your operating system a little bit more easily. So you're going to need to open Terminal. You can just do a spotlight search for it. It's T-E-R-M-I-N-A-L. When you open Terminal, you'll find a window much like this. Uh, all you need to do is paste the command in, uh, which is located below this video. It's uh, defaults write com .apple .finder under dash fx show posi x path in title minus boolean yes. So once you execute that command, or rather hit enter, uh, it'll move on to the next line. Now you may see immediate changes, but you may not. If you don't, and you know, it doesn't hurt if you do, you just, just type this, type kill all space capital finder. That will kill your finder, and mine does it extremely fast because I am on an SSD, but yours may do a little bit of a flash, your dock may go away, but you'll find that when you open uh, your window, your finder window, up here is a path. So I could go back into pictures and capture one library and selects, and I can see exactly where I am on my hard drive. It's a lot more efficient. I like it a lot more and it allows you to kind of know exactly where you are in your finder rather than wonder and have to click back to notice exactly where you are. So hopefully that helped you. Uh, it's definitely an annoyance that has always been in my heart and hopefully it can solve your annoyances as well. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.